Hackney. This video will cover the topic, Solving a Trigonometric Equation Involving an Angle Multiplied by a Constant. Why does it matter if our angle is multiplied by a constant? This will affect how we solve our equation. Say we're given the equation, cosine 2x equals 0. We can let 2x equal theta to work in terms of angles we know. Substituting theta into the equation for 2x, our equation now becomes cosine theta equals 0. The value 0 is one of the common trigonometric values for cosine, so we know that if theta equals pi halves or 3 pi halves, cosine theta equals 0. This means we have the solution theta equals pi halves plus k pi k element z, which takes into account all coterminal angles of pi halves and 3 pi halves. So this is our final solution? Not quite. Remember that in the original equation we wanted to solve for x, but we're still in terms of theta. We need to substitute 2x back into our equation for theta. To isolate x on the left side of the equation, we need to divide both sides by 2. When we do this, we see that x equals pi fourths plus k pi halves k element z. Let's try one more example. 2 sine 4x plus square root 3 equals 0. This one looks more complicated than the last one. Do we solve it the same way? We do, but first, we have to subtract square root 3 from both sides and divide both sides by 2. Now we have sine 4x equals negative square root 3 over 2. We can let 4x equal theta to work in terms of angles we know. Negative square root 3 over 2 is one of the common trigonometric values for sine, so we know that if theta equals 4 pi thirds or 5 pi thirds, sine theta equals negative square root 3 over 2. We can represent these solutions as theta equals 4 pi thirds plus 2 k pi k element z, or theta equals 5 pi thirds plus 2 k pi k element z. Now we have to substitute 4x back into the equation for theta, right? That's right. When we isolate x, we see that x equals pi thirds plus k pi halves k element z, and x equals 5 pi twelfths plus k pi halves k element z. Okay, I think I understand this topic. When solving trigonometric equations involving an angle multiplied by a constant, we should substitute theta for the angle multiplied by a constant and then solve for theta. At that point, we can use our solution for theta to solve for the original variable. That's exactly right. Great work!